Hey guys, we're here with Ryan Yu, who just went undefeated at Toronto Regionals with Labyrinth. Oh man, how are you liking the deck for the new format? Uh, I think it's going to be really good next format when Kashira hopefully gets hit, hit on the ban list. Uh, like, I think the matchups against decks like Clearly and Rescue Ways uh, and Unchained are all manageable. Okay. Uh, Unchained's like a little bit questionable, but yeah, I think this deck is really well positioned for next format as soon as Cash dies. Awesome. Well, I guess before we get to the list, any shout outs? Yeah, uh, so shout out to James, of course, for having me on. <laughs> Uh, shout out to my team, uh, Team Raid and Trade. Make sure to check out their uh, YouTube channel for more deck profiles in the future. Uh, shout out to my teammates. Shout out to my friends uh, in Waf and the uh, Bozos. Uh, and yeah, shout out to Alec and Pac as well for lending me cards. Awesome, let's get right to the list then. Yeah, so I played Furniture Labyrinth. Uh, I wanted to take a bit of a different approach to this deck because, uh, I mean, I've just been playing it for a while, so it got a bit boring. I wanted to try out some new stuff, and it worked out. So this is, uh, like, heavy furniture engine. So three Ariana, still two Lady, because uh, this card's, like, a super brick. It just does nothing on its own. Uh, so you just want two for engine requirement. Uh, one Lovely, of course. Uh, shout out to <laughs> Joey Chow. Uh, furniture, three, three, <clears throat> three. So I maxed out. Uh, normally it's, like, three, three, and one clock. I decided to play three clock uh, to boost consistency a little bit, going first and second. Uh, it's an easy side out. Like near almost every game, uh, going second, I was siding these out because uh, with Ash and Bell, like these super strong game one when they resolve, but post side when they get Ash and Bell, it's like you're pitching three cards to do nothing. Uh, so that was good. So uh, for the hand traps, I played three Nibiru, uh, three Ash, Gamma, and Driver. Okay. So. Well, that'll work out. <laughs> Nibiru was uh, for Unchained and Rescue Race uh, and Kestira. It's also just good against Rogue decks. Like I played against Salomon Great last round, and this uh, like I, I saw this. I didn't need it, but it definitely would have been good. Uh, I think you just have to respect the like the decks that have a lot of explosive potential with this deck because uh, like your combo isn't super impressive, right? You're looping maybe one or two cards out of their hand, but they still get to like you're out of interrupts after, and you have to grind. So having a bomb like Nibiru is really good. Uh, Ash is really good against just throw decks, right? It's super good against uh, random stuff like Labyrinth or the Fusion decks. Like this on Brandon Fusion or Mirror Sword Knight is super good. And then Gammon Driver. Uh, and Gamma is like super good with all the furniture cards. It's very good for protecting the welcomes from getting Ash and Belt. Uh, it's also good with like, extravagance. And uh, I don't know. I don't even. I don't know if this is optimal. I would probably play it again. It was good for me. Okay. I just thought it would be kind of funny. So. <laughs> You can just pitch the driver uh, if you draw yeah, it. So, yeah. like, the risk reward is a lot better than that. Oh, okay. And then, three extra, one okay. prosperity. Yep. Extra is pretty standard. One prosperity just because a little bit of extra consistency. As long as you're not, like, playing three of each, then they shouldn't conflict too much. They were both, they were both great. And then, uh, for the last spells, one called by when Labyrinth Uh I think this deck is just so much better when the welcomes actually resolve compared to when you get Ashton Belled. So I wanted to main deck this card, like even if it's just for Ash game one and then post side it hits more stuff. It's also like pretty much a trap card, right? It's, this card's broken in general. And the field spell, because uh, I'm playing a much higher engine count, so it makes a little more sense to be able to convert that advantage into the field spell. And this is super good in matchup like a tier limit, the mirror match, Despia, anything with like where you need to clear bodies, uh, this is really good. Traps, three and perm, pretty straightforward, spread the great. Uh, synergizes with lady. Uh, and, uh, like, just generic effect negation. Three big, uh, t two normal welcome. This is pretty standard. Uh, you just don't need three, because this on its own isn't really an interrupt. This is, because you can like, bounce monster for lovely. Uh, but you need two, just so you can, like, you keep cycling them, right? One's always engraved, the other one's always getting set on your field. Uh, so, this is perfect. And then the draft I chose, the main deck, were Barrier, Ice Dragon's Prison, and Terriers. All of these were super good, all of them came up. Uh, barriers to respect decks like purely. Uh, also, the fusion decks. Ice Dragon's Prison is for Dragon Link and Unchained. It also came up against Salad, that was great. Uh, it's also in the mirror, and Terrors is like less powerful, but it's more generic. You can get this against uh, any matchup like Blind, and it's generally pretty safe. Uh, and this also has spell traps, whereas these don't really uh, interact with that. So having all of these is great. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't change anything with the main deck. It's great. Uh, for the extra deck, um, 3 Chaos Angel, of course. This card is just really good with that. Uh, like, I guess you can make it with Ariana and Driver too, but mainly it's like the level 8 and Stovey. Okay. Uh, one Omega for the Gamma. Uh, two Ling Rebo, just for Ibley. Uh, I, think, I guess like Rescue Ace can do that too, or just random 
your extra deck doesn't matter too much, so if you can play these to prevent like getting auto lost, then it's good. Uh, one Mac Hacker. There should be three. Okay. Uh, I only had one. I was kind of lazy. So... <laughs> yeah, I just played the one. Uh, I never lost a game because I didn't have more of this, but it can definitely happen. So if you're going to play this deck, you for sure play three. This is like this is more important than Chaos Angel. This is the best good in the deck. There's, a, there's like one cool play that you can do with this as well that I guess I can show after. Uh, but yeah, this card's essential. And then Dark. This card was fantastic. It's not super standard, uh, but it's its main purpose is when you have like random furniture pieces left over, like maybe a dead clock and you have like a Nibiru or something like that, you can crash this and then add Chandra Blade uh, to get your engine back. So I think this card's really important. One Phoenix, one Unicorn. Uh, this is like to help my friend or like random spell traps in the Labyrinth. I wouldn't cut this. You could cut this for an extra Muckracker. Uh, it's just to extend off with Dark. Sense. And then two goddess, just for random stuff. Same as Lingrebo, it doesn't really matter, but it could come up, so why not? Uh, you could also call one of these for the uh, extra backpacker. And then two Dingersu okay. and one Zeus. This was to respect Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, that's why you play this in this deck, otherwise it's not really coming up. Uh, but yeah, your extra deck space just really isn't important, uh, because I don't play Punishment, so I have a lot of extra space. Uh, I just don't think Punishment is super good against any matchups. Okay. Uh, like the only matchup where popping two bodies with like Entis really matters is Sprite. And uh, I think against Sprite most of the time anyway, you can search Barrier and they'll pass if you call it Seize. So I'd rather be able to have like the option of using my extra deck, primarily Muckracker, as like follow-up when your board gets broken, when Lovely gets put in the grave. Uh, yeah. And then for the side deck, this is kind of the spice. So this is standard. Ooh, okay. Uh, one Keldo, one Midora. You just pitch, pitch these with the furnitures, and they're super good in a bunch of matchups. Despia, uh, Salamangre, like even Purely, these are good as like, they can chain block the Noir and stuff, uh, and put back all the spells so the Pure Lily misses. Uh, these are good in the mirror, like Dragon Link. Like most matchups, you can slide these in going second or first, and they're amazing. Uh, one Bell, uh, because I played three cross out Designators. So this was kind of the spice. Uh, I just wanted to experiment a bit today, so. I decided, like, oh, I've been wanting to try this for a bit, because, like, the, the times when you resolve the, like, big combo plays with the clock and the furniture, you go so plus, and when you get Ash to Bell, it's so sad. So I figured I might as well, like, play these with the one bell, uh, and side these when, I'm, when I was going first. And, uh, there's also, like, there's some application aside from hitting Ash and Bell. Like, you'll notice there's the one Prosperity in the main deck, that's because of the cross out. So you can cross out Prosperity, that came up. Okay. Uh, so just like small deck building things you can do with this. But yeah, the, the one bell goes in some in some matchups, of course. Like the mirror match is good, Despia is good, Hunchain is fine. But the main purpose is just for the cross outs. These were like, these were really good today. Uh, I would definitely recommend trying this out. Uh, if you're going to do this, I would think you have to max out on like the three clock and stuff. Uh, because if you're drawing this card but not the clock combo, it's a bit pointless, right? Uh, but yeah, this was awesome. Okay. And then... Uh, the yes. viruses. I didn't actually use either of these, but uh, straightforward, they're good. Uh, this one, in case you don't know, just covers matchups like Flunder and Math Mech and Sprite and stuff like that. Two XEs on Curve. Uh, this, is, okay. this doubles as an out for a Rise Heart and uh, like a Purely setup. Uh, you could play Kaiju, but I think it's just more important to stop the draws from Purely. You honestly don't really mind if they get all the cats back. Because your engine beats theirs head to head. Like if you, it doesn't matter how many spells they have in hand if you have a barrier set. So it's chill. And then two Mourner. Mm -hmm. These were just for extra hand traps that you could tie in. For purely, these are super good. Uh, these like kind. Of, you can think of these as like swapping out with the clocks when you go second. Uh, yeah, these were great. I would play these again. I was also a, a little bit scared of decks like Medium, so I wanted to respect those more by having hand traps and uh, philosophy of draw. Okay. Medium, uh, Dragon Link. Those are matchups that could be pretty rough. So yeah, I just wanted to play draw those like this. So uh, one of my favorite uh, plays to do with this deck is if you have a hand like this. So this is it's obvious, right? This is full combo. Uh, you've got. The furniture piece, and let's say you have an extra Ariana. So what you can do with this hand is uh, to play around Ash. You can normal summon Ariana effect, and the card that you're going to add here is lovely. So this doesn't. I know this doesn't make much sense, but uh, this is just something like after playing the deck for a few months, I realized like, oh, you can do this. This is kind of sick. So you pitch the clock, then you use the furniture piece discarding lovely. 
you can set your trap. So most of the time it's gonna be big welcome. Unresolution clock effect. Instead of adding it to hand, you're gonna summon it back. Uh, and then you link off clock and Ariana for Muckrack, right? Then you use Muckrack's effect, pitch a random card in your hand. Because, I mean, this was only three cards. You know, you know. Summon back the lovely. And then you flip the big welcome. They can't respond because of the lovely. So it's just a cute thing you can do where if you already have the combo with an extra Ariana, uh, it seems like sometimes you can't really convert the advantage. Uh, cleanly, but this is like a really cool way to do it. I uh, guarantee you get everything. You can like usually get the second for energy piece of Big Welcome. So here we started with Chandra, you can get Stovey, uh, or other way around. You just get everything in circulation, you guarantee the hand loop. Oh uh, yeah, this is just cool. Like stuff like this is why I think my card is really good. Awesome. Well, again, thank you so much for the profile and combo. Any last words this time? Uh, no, just uh, thanks to all my friends. Awesome. Thank you.